Klaus Schwab's life by subscription, quote, is really serfdom, it's slavery. Billionaire globalist corporations will own everything, homes, factories, farms, cars, furniture. And everyday citizens will rent what they need, if their social credit score allows. The plan of the Great Reset is that you will die with nothing. To pull off this evil plan, Klaus Schwab's World Economic Forum will need to take more than just material possessions from Australians. Senators in this very chamber today who support the Great Reset threaten our privacy, freedom and dignity. Yes, they're in this Senate chamber. One Nation vehemently opposes the Great Reset, the Digital Identity Bill, theft of agricultural land use, forcing farmers off their land and all of the Great Reset. One Nation has a comprehensive plan to bring our beautiful country back to sustainable prosperity. And in the months ahead, we will be rolling that plan out. Instead of Lib Lab pushing Klaus Schwab's Great Reset with the tagline, you will own nothing and be happy, One Nation advocates the Great Resist. We stand for a world where individuals and communities have primacy over predatory globalist billionaires and their quizzling bureaucrats, politicians and mouthpiece media. Does COVID still look like an emergency to you? Would anyone still be afraid if not for the incessant propaganda of the corporate media cabal and our bureaucratic class? The greatest emergency I see is a lack of strength. And of course, the pattern continues with the lamentable World Health Organization declaring a monkeypox as a global health emergency, while the White House is now pivoting to the monkeypox emergency without even batting an eyelid. And coming up next is the so-called climate crisis. South Australia's parliament recently declared a climate emergency with no real evidence and their proposed solution is transforming the economy to net zero emissions. Quite a goal, but how exactly it will be achieved? Well, here's the spoiler alert. It will involve more government control over your life, restricting your ability to run businesses how you want, restricting your ability to buy what you want, go where you want, along with soaring food, fuel and electricity prices. People do strange and terrible things when they're afraid. They behave emotionally and look for people to blame. Those who want rational debate and value freedom over the promise of safety are now labelled as threats to the public. We saw this with people who refused COVID mRNA injections. They were called anti-vaxxers, conspiracy theorists, just for wanting transparency and not wanting to be locked in their homes. I'm sure, we'll see that with climate lockdowns too. Australians need to be aware that whether through apathy or by design, we are allowing our liberty to be sacrificed at the altar of safety. The weapon is fear. The remedy is the emergency declaration. As Edmund Burke This vaccine campaign, it will go down as the biggest scandal in medical history and moreover, it will be known as the biggest crime ever committed on humanity.
We cannot hide away from human population growth because, you know, it underlies so many of the other problems. All these things we talk about wouldn't be a problem if there, were, if there was the size of population that there was 500 years ago.